So I decided to change the oil pan gasket on my truck. It's leaking on a hell. I've been procrastinating on it. I just got the balls to actually do the work because I got some spare time today. So what I'm doing right now is actually taking off the two bolts from this side of this, this cross brace right here for the engine that connects to the A-arms here. Um, so it's two bolts here, two bolts over there. So what I did was grab a, not a wrench. I grabbed a socket, 19 mil socket. Basically put it there, two bolts there. And then another two bolts over here. Do not try it with just your bare hands. Try to put some type of leverage so you could actually crack them because otherwise you're gonna strip the bolts. You could have a breaker bar or something like this. I like to use myself that I am genius myself. Just basically hook it in there. And once we take off those two bolts, we'll drain out the oil and then take off all the uh, small little nuts that go around the oil pan. Clean it up, put a gasket, and then put it back on. And we'll do a trip with the XRS also to the auto parts store to get a, a gasket and some RTV also. So for the drain plug, it's a 14 mil bolt. Just take it off. Comes right out. So I ran into a couple of issues. One of the bolts came right out, but the rest of the three were extremely stuck. Um, so what I did was actually I grabbed, I grabbed a hammer and just lightly tapped it on the bolt. Um, one of them came out, with, like I said, with my hand. The other one uh, had to use the hammer and unfortunately landed on the oil catch pan. So I had to uh, take that out. But the other one, this one I tapped out with the hammer and it got stuck in the middle of the way. So what I did was actually grab the extension and just uh, stuck it in there and pushed it out. We are using the hammer too, it came right out. This side is already loose, so I'm going to do this side also, and it should come right out. I'm not sure why it's extremely stuck in there, but I'm just going to leave it that way and uh, start taking off the bolts on the oil pan. I forgot to mention I jacked up the car also on both sides. And um, since I was having trouble taking off the bolts on the, the cross member here, um, I thought it, I, I was thinking of just jacking it up, up and down this right here, see if it would move or budge, but it didn't. So I just actually used the hammer. But I actually decided to take it off. So what I did was just wiggle it, wiggled it um, back and forth towards me and out, and it just came right off. So next, I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and start on unbolting all these bolts right here on the oil pan. Okay, so I got the oil pan off, and we have 12 bolts in total, two big ones and five mini ones. I did not pay attention of what was going on. The two longer bolts, I believe belong towards the back, I think. I need to do some research and find out what's going on there. I didn't pay attention. The gasket seems pretty crusty itself. The pickup truck has 100,000 miles on it, which is really low for 93. I used to have a, another Nissan hard body. It was a 95, which is two years older, but it took a dump on me and I had to get another vehicle. And at the time I was looking for another truck and so I told my pops I uh, was laying around the neighborhood and I saw the one I have right now in the front yard. The front end was totally demolished. And I knocked on the door. He didn't answer. I called my pops and I told him, hey, there's a hard body sitting outside this old man's house. And it's crashed from the front end. It looks like it's been sitting for quite a while. Maybe you want to knock on, give it a second chance and knock on his door yourself and see what the deal is. Went ahead and knocked on his door and the man answered and he said that he basically parked it for for about five seven five to six seven years the fact that his daughter borrowed the truck overnight and decided to joyride it drink and drive and crashing into something so he parked ever since then 
and I believe that's the reason why this gasket is all crusty and flaked and whatnot. Long story short, my dad got the truck for a thousand bucks. We did some front end work to it. We grabbed some parts from my other hard body that I had laying around, knocked them out and changed on the front end with it. So ever since then, I've been having this truck for about, uh, it's gonna be a year now. So I've been tinkering with it ever since then. It used to be an automatic. The tranny gave out, so uh, we five speed swapped it also. It, it, for some reason, it wouldn't go into gears. So that's the reason why we, we swapped it. And it was a lot more cheaper having the, the tranny laying around from a mechanic that we knew. So we five speed swapped it. It came out a lot more cheaper than rebuilding the tranny. And it's a lot more fun uh, driving the five speed. Overall, the cost for the five speed swap, keeping the original, never mind, it, it's not the original since we swapped it uh, clutch came out to 600 bucks rather than rebuilding the tranny which cost like a thousand bucks plus labor and the reason we did it for uh, we got it for 600 bucks for the fact that the mechanic had it laid around so i'm gonna go ahead and take out these this this gasket right here i was playing with it and something went inside there so i need to it like a chunk a little a small little chunk of this gasket went inside there so i need to find out where exactly it went it's actually this part right here so we'll take that out and just be careful not to get any big chunks in there obviously if you see something flying get it out and once we end this up with the putty knife and clean the the portion of the block also we'll go ahead and grab the gasket some rtv and the new gasket and rtv and put it back on just got back from the parts store and part number os 30617c that's the oil pan gasket for the hard body it was $13 plus that now that I got the oil pan gasket I did my best to clean it the best I can from the outside all this is just paint residue this is all it is there's some type of gasket maker in here in between these uh, veins I would say my best to take that out what I use I know some people will disagree I use a uh, a small razor blade. I did it very lightly, not aggressively. I just did it around the edges. Ideally, plastic putty knife will work better so you won't harm the aluminum. This is the only thing I have right now and it's too hot to be going out at the moment. So I just took my time, did it gently, and took off all that residue that was from the outside. And the same thing goes at the bottom of the the block itself I did the same thing just nice and easy and uh, clean it out the rest of the oil of course I'm gonna clean that right now because that's stuff that's being collected at the moment but once I'm ready to put it up I'll clean it one more time with the uh, shop bag and put it back on everyone has their own method of putting in some uh, silicone or gasket or whatever it's, it's it's more of a personal opinion I would say but I just put a little bit all the way around. Usually I just put it around the bolts itself, but decided to put it along the artery veins here that it has on the on the pan itself. So I set this a couple minutes ago. Let it be tacky a little bit. And once it is, you know, go ahead and uh, put on the gasket. Gasket is on, and we're gonna let it settle for a couple minutes. Once it's uh, nice and firm, for it not to move around too much, we'll go ahead and put it back up one thing I forgot to mention uh, my since my truck is five speed swap it doesn't have a safety feature in which if you press in the car will the truck will start even if you don't press on a clutch so that being said just to be on the safe side disconnect the battery even if your truck is an automatic or five speed just go ahead and take off the battery terminals safe side so that's what I did also and of course your your jacks Make sure you have those. So all the nuts and bolts for the cross member, I decided to use some brake cleaner. We get this at Walmart for like two bucks. So just basically spray all the nuts and bolts to take off all the excess grease that it has and it should be good to go. Here comes the front part since I was a nutcase this morning. Here we go. So all the bolts are nice and clean, did that, sprayed it all. So I realized that the, the two long bolts that I took out and the rest are just shorties. Those two long bolts I actually tested out 
They belong right in the back of the oil pan where the transmission holds up. So the last two bolts that you see back there, that's basically where the uh, two long bolts belong. I did a test run on most of the front ones and then said to myself they probably belong to the back. And sure enough, uh, they, they go in most all the way in. And when I did a test run on the front ones, they, they still had a little bit of a couple millimeters to go in. So um, as long as they stay nice and flush towards the back, that, that's all that matters. Go ahead and put on a fresh new M12 uh, gasket on your oil drain plug. Oil pan gasket is nice and set. You can move it around and it won't move for the most part. So once you have that nice and stiffness for you to play with it to put it back on, go ahead and mock it up and start putting on some bolts. So I got all the bolts, uh, the back two bolts, longer bolts. I'm not sure for what reason why. Maybe they, they replaced it already. They had to replace it, but instead of all of them being 10 mil, one of the bolts was 11 mil. I'm not sure if it's the same thing for every single truck out there, but if you guys are having trouble taking it out, it's because it's an 11 mil and the rest are 10 mil. I'm not sure why. So once you put on every single bolt, what you want to do is actually tighten it first by hand. And these things just should go, go by smoothly. I'm tying it by hand. Once you tighten it by hand, and it stops, which is right there. Back out, probably an inch. The reason you wanna, once you hand tighten it and then back out an inch, it gives I'm sorry, I got a phone call and I stopped the video. But anyways, once you back out a little bit, it gives you time, I mean, some, some play room around with the pan and you can move it around and you can hand tighten the rest of the bolts. And then once you're ready, with all the bolts all the way around, you could go ahead and uh, start torquing them down. Okay, so now I torqued every single bolt on, bolt on the oil pan. And after I cleaned out a little bit with the brake parts cleaner, right here all the grease buildup that there was on the, on the cross member itself. Any oil buildup you might want to take off with the putty knife. It'll be a lot more easier and then use the brake cleaner. and use the rag also alrighty so she's all buttoned up uh, the only thing I have to do is an oil change on the truck itself so um, I put this cross member here back I uh, had a little bit of difficulty putting it back for the fact that on one side once you put the bolts on it wouldn't coincide on the other side uh, the hole that the holes itself wouldn't line up to for the bolt to to get out the way so that being said I had to drop the truck again and the chassis did move just a tiny bit I did have to force it a little bit not too much but just a little bit for the bolts to go in but I finally got it in the cross member is finally in with a little of a bit of a force to it but it's already done tightening it down the bolts from the oil pan and the cross member and all, all they have to do is the only change and that's about it. So I put a new filter on it. It is part number PH3682. It's the cheap stuff since I changed the oil every 3,000 miles since it's a daily. Turned it on, put four quarts in it. I'm checking for leaks. Looks like everything's good for now. So far, I'm gonna turn it off, check the oil and see how the oil level is and um, everything is pretty much buttoned up right now at the moment so i checked the oil again i added half a quart so it takes about four and a half quarts for it to be filled up uh, with the engine warmed up and then let it settle for about a minute or two uh, i was running for approximately five five to ten minutes i would say i turned it off once it was warmed up and so far, I don't see any leaks. This is a hole right here in the concrete. Uh, those are leaks from uh, the undercarriage where the transmission's at, because it was just leaking and leaking. It's just piled up, so I need to power wash the undercarriage when I get the chance.